Having previously worked for the GWR, Stanier was inspired by their main engines. The Black Fives were based loosely on the Hall class of 1929, one of which, number 5972, was used in the Harry Potter films. Designed by Charles Collett, the GWR's chief mechanical engineer during the Golden Age of Steam. However, they couldn't be exact copies because the LMS had a smaller loading gauge than the GWR, presumably due to Brunel's broad gauge railway of the 1830s, which led to Stania having to adapt the design. For instance, the halls had stick out cylinders which made them wider. However, some things were kept. For example, both classes of engines had tapered boilers. The Black Fives were a successful design and over a period of 17 years, from 1934 to 1951, 842 appeared from various workshops such as Crewe, Derby and the Vulcan Foundry. When Henry George Ivert took over from Stanier in 1941, during the war, many unusual variations appeared. Here comes George Stevenson, built in 1947, unveiled on the very last day before the nationalisation of the big four companies, and the only Black Five to be built with Stevenson link motion. Contrast to this is number 44687, the last Black Five to be built in 1951. Its American appearance is due to its caprotti valve gear and high running plates. Their success helped provide inspiration for the similar 8F class, also designed by William Stanier for the LMS, introduced in 1935 and used all over the world.
Another inspiration was the standard class 5 460 introduced in 1951 by British Railways Chief Mechanical Engineer R. A. Riddles. The final years came. The locomotive started to show their age and in the 1960s they started to go to scrap. The first to be withdrawn was number 45401 with the bolt withdrawn in 1967. And on August the 11th, 1968, the end of it all, three hauled the 15 guinea special, the last train hauled by a mainline British Railway steam engine. Out of over 800 Black Fives built, no fewer than 18 survive today, all because of their popularity with not just engine crews but enthusiasts too. As a result of their good performance, they became known as the Fireman's Friend and were referred to as the Jewel in the Stanier Crown. Recently some of the Black Fives have returned to the main line, all in special rail tours like the summer Scarborough Spa Expresses. Maybe those enthusiasts travelling will and should bear in mind the popularity of these train, trains in their heyday.